Welcome to Edge Learning. In this video, we're going to have a look at setting up the Markbox in Edge. Under Admin, Setup, go to Markbook Configuration. In here, you can create new Markbooks and new data types. We would recommend that you create your data types first. Click on New, and you have four different types of data types. They can be text, number, lookup, or comment. Let's look at doing a comment first. So give it a name, specify the number of characters and save. And let's create another new one, essential lists. And that would be something that would be good to do as a lookup. And so we just enter all the required fields. Next, we need to create the markbook itself. Click on markbook configuration, click on new. We'll call this one school wide and we'll link the room to it. We will show student information and we will allow our teachers to have 10 of their own columns. They can effectively do the same thing we're doing here, but these columns that we're creating here are standard ones for everybody, um, even if you've got several rooms attached to the same Markbook or different courses. So comment, add another one. It's a good idea to add each time of the year that you would want to record the data in that column. This is something that you can come back and do later. However, Something you can't come back and do later is when you are creating the lookup columns, it is very good to ensure that you have everything in there that you need to start with. Once you have entered some data, you often cannot change and add extra fields into those uh, lookups. And I've just realized I have connected these to the wrong column type. That is easy to change and then save. And just be aware, if you do change from one column type to another, the data that's in that column will disappear. If you're in an area school or a secondary school and you're creating a new Markbook, you will find that you can mark it for a course or for a class. So for a course, it's going to come up with all your subject courses there. You can create a Markbook for each one that's necessary, or you can even combine some together if you wish. Other than that, all is much the same. And you can add in a secondary school NCA columns in there as well and just put a heading there if you like the NCA. We'll now go ahead and have a look at that Markbook that we created. So we go to Achievement to Markbooks. I can see all the student information and further to the right I can see the columns that I've set up, the lookup and the comment. I can click in and start typing or I can double click and it brings up a box for me to type in. Um, just down on the left hand side at the bottom you can configure that student information to turn off any columns you don't want just keep the ones that you do want and the same can happen with those custom columns as well you can just sort of hide all the ones for the terms that you don't want and just simplify that view okay thanks for watching